apparently life got started on a beach. Some scientists think that the, the tides following the moon to and fro created an environment where chemical changes eventually um, started what we call life. Microbes and uh, tiny microscopic creatures um, evolved and uh, this was the environment in which they did that. And at that time, of course, the earth was surrounded by poisonous clouds, nitrogen and carbon dioxide and uh, all the rest of it. But these microbes were able to breathe that, they were able to metabolize that. I'm not sure if they were exactly breathing. Um, and the side product of that was the gas oxygen, which of course made our life form possible. So thank you bacteria. And the other byproduct of that process was oil. I think trees carried on a similar process millions of years later in producing coal. But either way, poisonous gases were locked away safely in the earth. And of course the society we live in now is working very hard to reverse that process. The fossil fuel industry is destroying the planet. So this poem is called Our Moment because we haven't been here very long and uh, the way we're going will be here much longer um, thanks to largely to the fossil fuel industry petrol, cars and of course the byproduct of plastic um, anyway, so it's not, a, it's not a cheerful poem but I hope you like it and if you don't as, as again, just enjoy the, the lovely surroundings and uh, pictures of the beach. Our moment. In a sea of black, a speck of dust momentarily glows. Light breaks the night into black and white. Hurtling comets crashed, hurling the liquid magic that was heaven sent through poison clouds to crystallise in scarlet skies while a single moon rose. What were the chances? Moon spun tides crashed, receded, crashed again, black, white, and now blue, causing chaos among the chemicals, creating newness until life twitched out of the molecular dances. Microbes busied for so many millennia, sucked and shut the poison out of shape till air began and breath entered the equation. Nanoseconds. Life hummed. Into its unwritten rhythm, spirals and rhymes, life twitched, then swam, then crawled through a morass of time. A speck of black, white, blue, and now green, hurtled through darkness for maybe forever. The poison twisted into thin air, leaving a soft liquid, unseen, buried, beware. A byproduct of microbes' breath, the harbinger of a planet's death. Life crawled, swam, flew, and walked. The bipedal gardener, hunter, changer, farmer, gatherer, thinker, maker, the one who noticed, the one who shared. Part of the pattern, careful of the pattern, for maybe forever, if you'd only cared. What force for good we might have been. But some, a few, so very few, took ownership. and skies to the planet's end and life's demise. They released the soft liquid from its imprisonment and poisoned the water that was heaven sent until poison clouds once more around the planet curled and we wallow in the waste of a warming world. So now our speck hurtles to a different shore. The pattern ripped, the rhythm torn. The magic burn, the balance tipped, I'm homesick for a world we've lost our children's future when chaos will become again. And the planet's never two futures in my head. One life, the other the ashen grey of death. Only one speck of life among a billion trillion more. Which a desert, derelict, devoid. Only one of them. 
through a re-poisoned night towards a certain future for us all. Alas, for a better one.